Hello friends, welcome to JavaScript learning series. In this video, we are going to learn about the difference between the shallow copy and the deep copy in JavaScript. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So before understanding the difference between shallow copy and deep copy, let's understand the different way to copy the values uh, or to copy the data in the JavaScript. So in JavaScript, there are two types of variables. One is the value type, another is the reference type. So let's say if I have uh, some number equal to 15 and now I have some another variable number 2 equal to number. So here the number is the primitive type of data so in case of primitive type uh, basically whenever we are going to copy the data it's directly copy that particular value it's going so basically in primitive type all the values are copied directly to the new variable instead of reference uh, storing the reference so we will talk about the reference in the later part so for now so basically we have the number two now even if i am changing number value to 10 and let's console dot log number let me copy and number two number two now let's clear the console and run the output so if we can see earlier we have the number equal to 15 and we have stored the number value into number two and then change the numbers to 10 so here we can see number is here 10 and number two is 15 so even changing the value of the number is not going to affect the number two value this is because this is the primitive type of data and in case of primitive type all the copy is data copy is going to happen by value so it's directly copy the value to the new variable in now let's see the non-primitive types for example let's take in one object mm, let me clear the code let's say i have one object mm, contact detail and here i have two very two properties first name bunky last name sutaria now let's have another con variable contact or let's say updated cd contact detail equal to contact detail and now let's do the similar operations like contact detail dot first name and i am changing it to write with and similarly also changing the last name Thank you. Now let's console both contact detail and updated contact detail.
name updated contact detail color updated cd <coughs> let's clear the console and run the output so here if we can see both will show the updated value even if we have copied that contact details before updating this value of the contact detail this is why because this is the non primitive data type that object is and in case of non primitive data type all the copies data copy will be done by reference so what that means is let's say uh, as we all know like all the memories and all the data will be stored in the in the computer memories now let's say this particular contact detail is stored in some xyz memory location now this is the memory location for this particular contact detail now when i am going to copy this into the updated cd in updated cd this particular value is not going to copy but instead of that this particular memory reference is going to copy in this particular variable so based on that now contact detail and updated cd both is going to share same memory re reference here so if i am changing anything on that particular value which is stored on this particular memory reference it is going to affect all the variables which is pointing to the same memory reference so because of that even i am changing it after assigning the this particular after copying the data still it shows the same value for both so that is the call like copy by reference and previously what we, we have shown uh, in case of primitive it shows copy by value now in case of copy by reference there is a something way called shallow copy and the deep copy using which you can have the you can resolve this issue so let's see first shallow copy and then we will move to the deep copy so let's see we have here one contact detail now instead of copying this we can use object dot assign let me remove this in object dot assigned we need to provide a target object like source object in which you want to copy the value and the next argument will be the target object from which you want to copy basically now let's see the output so here we can see updated cd has the original values before whatever we have before update and this particular has a new value that contact detail has a new value so we have resolved this issue what we face by the direct copy by reference so this particular method is called as a shallow copy now there is another way you can use uh, you can perform the shallow copy let's see mm, let me comment this out and there is one operator called spread operator well there is a separate video on spread operator you can check that out on the that card and i will add the link in the description so here what we are going to do is contact detail so this both the things are doing the same thing like object dot assign or the spread operator both are going to do the same thing here what happened what will happen like contact detail is going to the spread operator is going to spread all the properties available within the contact detail into the new object so in that way it is going to create a new object for us so now let's clear the console and see the output see we got the expected result updated cd has the older value 
and contact detail has the new value. Now this is called the shallow copy. Now we why we need a deep copy if the shallow copy is going to work for like going to resolve our issue right so let's see there is a problem for which we need to uh, use the deep copy so let's first create a issue and then we'll try to resolve it with the deep copy let's say we have another nested object called address in which we have city Surat and yeah, city is enough for now. Now let's say now we have this object. Now I am going to change here. Contact detail dot address dot city equal to Pune and let's use object dot assign as both are going to do the same thing we will check with both both of the value and let's see the output so here if we can see in both of the value in contact detail and updated cd both contains the new city value why this is happening because as, as I told you object dot assign and the spread operator is going to use uh, is going to perform the shallow copy what shallow copy means is it so if we can use the spread operator what have what will happen here it is going to spread all the contact details property within this particular object now in that case this address is going address is itself is of another object now this address is going to copy to this updated cd by reference it's not going to copy by value because this is the object so that's the reason whenever i am going to change anything on the cd this is going to reflect to the whatever as i told earlier whatever the variables are going to share the same memory reference all the values will be affected right so because of that the shallow copy is not going to work in case of nested object to resolve that we have to use a deep copy so deep co what deep copy means deep copy is going to copy on the nth level of the nested object by value instead of by reference so we have one way to do the deep copy so let's try that so let's me comment this out so let's try a deep copy in the deep copy there is a one way that you can use to perform the deep copy in a javascript which is say we are going to use the same variable json dot parse json dot pringi stringify and within that we will going to pass our nested object now clear the console and then the output so here we, we can see we have uh, the updated cd has the original value old value that city surat and the new ob object has the new value city pune so what will happen here the first what we are doing is we are converting the all the complete object into the string string format and then we are going to pass that same string json string into the new json object so in that way we are going to create a complete deep copy of our nested object so let's see if you want to see we can console it the stringified value so 
we can see here we have the that string json string of that particular contact detail object and when we do json dot pass for that same string object json string then we got this particular object so basically this object is the completely newly created or we can say here newly passed json object which is not at all any relation with our older object contact detail so in that way you can do the deep copy of nested object so instead of this for deep copy you can use some third party libraries like lodes where you can have a deep clone so using that you can perform the deep copy of that particular nested object or you can create your own function which can handle all the scenarios because there is a limitation on this particular way to deep copy an object or i would say nested object because this is only going to perform for the sum of the properties like normal properties but if we have some functions here in case like with this particular nested object we have some functions as a property then that is not going to work in case of this type of deep cloning for that you have to you 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 have to create a separate customized function to perform the deep cloning on the each of the level so i hope uh, that uh, now shallow copy and the deep copy difference is clear like if you have to perform only one level of copy uh, for the object then you can use a shallow copy and if you want to perform on the nested object then you have to use a deep copy for the object so yeah see you guys on the next video till then happy programming